Hey guys, real quick answer on how you can add things side by side in Notion is uh, the following. So what I can do is I can hover this specific block. This is what Notion would call a block. I can highlight this specific block with my mouse. And if I drag it and I go to the extreme side of the other block, I can just drop it now. And this is how I have them side by side. And if I want to add the third column and so on and so on, I can add it once again at the extreme side of any column. So I want to put this as a third thing. There we are. And now, oops, now I can resize these columns as I see accordingly. I'm going to, in a second, I'm going to walk through what you can do, how you can take this even a step further or how it looks like on a more complex page. I just kept this simple so you can get the idea, but this is pretty much it. So I'm just doing command Z now to get back here. And uh, what I have to mention is that what you need to keep in mind is um, a column. So if I were in the initial phase and I would have text two, text three, text four, let's just say, you need to be mindful of the following thing. So I'm making this a column here, but as you can see, this text, even though it appears to be on the left-hand side for the moment, if this would be super, super long, see, this isn't on the left column anymore. Now, what I need to be mindful of is Notion has created two columns for these things. So there's a step two you need to do, which is if I want all these things to be here on the left, I need to select them. Let me take it slowly. So I need to select them and I'm doing the same thing now. Now I'm not putting them at the extreme end. I'm putting them right below. See how this, this blue line changes. I'm putting them right below the left column or the right one, but let's just keep it simple. Keep it on the left. So now when I type something in now here, this automatically gets uh, right below this left column. This is just something you need to keep in mind if uh, you have already made a text or the blocks, I should say, and then you want to put them on the left side. And then the question is now, how do I get out of this? Well, we just double enter, do a couple enters and um, you'll be out of the columns. Oops. No, I'm not. Well, I can just drag it here. So because I've done enter blank space, uh, while I was in the left column, that's why that happened. But the same way you put it there, you can take it back. So, or you can move it around or whatever. Resize column and a block can be anything as I'm sure you, oops, didn't want to do that. As I'm sure you've already seen. Now, if I want to take this one step further, um, I have this here, something that is a, a template of a dashboard. So see how this gets really complicated now and it's easy to get lost into it. But as you can see, um, if I resize these things, these columns around, everything else gets the right shape or size. Um, if I were to, so this already has got three columns, but just for the sake of decoding something complex, I can move them around. Let's say I want to put them here on the left hand side. Bear with me for a sec. There we go. And now we've got two columns. So if I were to, let's say I only want this specific block, this simplify block, I want to put as a third column, drag and drop. I mean, just drag, hold it for a sec. And once, once I'm seeing this vertical blue line, that's when I know the, the correct, yeah, the correct layout is selected for me. So I hope this helps. Um, let me know if I can clarify anything further and have a lovely day wherever you are.